and welcome to Science Rocks. I'm Laura Spence, K-12 STEM Specialist for Pinellas County Schools. Since we started our after-school STEM Academies four short years ago, we exploded to 128 elementary academies, 34 middle grade academies, and eight high school locations. Many of our schools have more than one, like here at Bay Point Middle School. This is Diana Mills, one of our after-school STEM Academy teachers. They're working on their final touches for the Future City competition. On the different components of the competition, there's the virtual city design, the essay writing, they have to create a project plan to show how they're all working together, and then actually like build a model of their city. I, the biggest thing probably is the teamwork aspect, working together how to solve a problem. Because I know that the challenge this year is an age-friendly city, so they have to do research and the thinking in the future too, and incorporating all sorts of disciplines, like the math, science, technology, engineering, art, like all of it, and seeing how it all works together for the solution. Earlier this school year, Chris Balestra, the Managing Director of Development Coordination for the City of St. Petersburg, spoke to the students about city planning. Well, it's such a great opportunity to speak with these children. They're, number one, they've embarked on a, a, an aggressive program that speaks very favorably to all the important things that are going to be the jobs of the future. Mm -hmm. And in the City of St. Pete, in my role, I get to build things, basically. And that's very exciting. And so I can share particularly engineering, design, and some of the science components of what they're looking towards right now. And when you come and speak to our STEM students, what is the overall message that you want them to take away? Well, number one is uh, Winston Churchill said, never, never, never give up. Uh, part of um, science is uh, failing, frankly, and experimentation and trying different things. And in the end, make sure you get the right product at the end. Uh, we do it every day in the city of St. Pete, starting with public input, uh, making sure we're heading in the right direction. But in the end, you've got to make sure you deliver the right project from a design perspective and an engineering perspective so that it helps the future of the city for the next hundred years. We're not, we're, we don't look short term at any of these projects and they need to have the same attitude. Opportunities like this give learning a real world relevance and that's something that excites the principal. We have three STEM academies on your campus and it's really grown. Explain the purpose of why it's so important for you to have so many STEM academies on your campus. Well, first of all, I think it gives a multitude of students the opportunity to participate in the STEM Academy. Um, not just the selection process of the STEM Academy, it gives the totality of all of our students at Bay Point Middle School an opportunity to go through the science, the technology, the engineering, the math. Um, it engages the students because it's activities that take place outside the normal school day. And that energizes our students for when they come back during the regular school day and go home for the evening those conversations continue at home with their parents, with other students, um, over social media, over phone calls, um, over um, sporting activities and events. So for me, um, I would love to keep them all at school for as long as possible. And fortunately, we are blessed to have three STEM academies that keep um, probably about 60 to 7 students, 60 to 70 students at Bay Point Middle School um, on Wednesdays for a great length of time. And uh, the students love it. They love it. The parents love it. Um, so I think it gives our students that added bonus of enrichment opportunities after the school day has ended. As we start the second semester, many of our students are working on their projects for our STEM Expo in April. And we'll be checking in with our students to see how their projects are coming along. When we come back, I'll show you how we're spreading the word of STEM throughout the community and state. Science Rocks rolls on in a moment. 